Nationwide, most kids, they drop out of school because they find it unrelentingly boring and irrelevant. And a kid sitting in class studying Beowulf, and this kid goes, hey, all I want to do is, is I want to work on HVAC systems. I want to be a mechanic. I want to learn how to weld. And it's hard for that child to say, you know, how does this fit into where I want to go? So I think what a lot of our students see here is this relevant to them. When we started about seven years ago to pass a penny sales tax, our goal was to get a career center that served Anderson three, four, and five school districts. And one of the main projects that we were going to do was to build this facility here at Anderson Institute of Technology. So I think the driving force was industry. When I was in school here, the, the biggest thing was there were still four or five textile mills in the area. And it was a, a living wage and it took care of families, but it didn't give the opportunities for growth. We have a lot of industry here in Anderson County. As you walk around, you'll see logos from Michelin and Arthrex and Bosch. Career technology education is vital to us giving them employees. So our goal here is to give them a highly skilled workforce that's ready to walk from our doors into their jobs. The industry response has been awesome through donations, through partnerships, through scholarships, through internships. What we try to do is to find out from industry what the students need to know and be able to do to engage industry at high level. We make sure that students complete certifications. They're business people that see it as a business decision because with the aging workforce, we got to have more people pulling the train and riding it. Coming to a career center, it's hands-on, it's project-based. Basically what this thing is supposed to do is for a cyclist to wear it and for them to signal their intentions. In our classrooms, you know, obviously it's more interactive. Uh, our students work in teams and they get to prototype quite a few different things. It's not lecture. It's seeing how what you're learning in the classroom, what you're doing in the lab, translates to real life. And when you give students that relevance piece, motivation picks up. Our kids that come to AIT, there's a morning and afternoon session. In the morning, they spend three hours or so here at AIT, and then they return to their high school. They're scheduled back at their home school, and it's just planned out in their graduation plan, back at their home school with their counselor and they're working in conjunction with the AIT staff. So it's really kind of personalized. If you loosen this, will it allow you a little more wiggle room? I'm sitting with them and we're having a good time just exploring different things and I find myself going, oh my gosh, yes, it works. So the students today, they're gonna to be doing a knee replacement. Our vet science program, the students are able to experience really the surgical processes that sometimes in its second or third year in med school before students are actually experiencing what our students are able to experience here. The work here that our students are doing in digital visual art is unbelievable and incredible. We each got to design a model food truck. I designed everything from scratch. I came up with the idea, I came up with the slogan, the color palette with the mascot, everything. I've just been able to produce bounds of material and just a lot of great things that I can take to college with me. A lot of these classes are just as challenging as a advanced placement class you'll see in a traditional high school. What you do in career tech is not easier, it's just different. Last year we had uh, 275 students that received AP and college level in the advanced courses. I had 16 out of 22 who scored AP credit. So we're really, that was another of, yes! I'm really proud of them for that. 
I think of those students in AutoTech and the collaboration they have to have. I think that's a big deal because that's going to mirror what they're going to do when they get into being an adult. So for me, I'm going to complete this course and then go on to a mechanic shop. Students that come here at about 98% continue to follow their interest into work and into post-secondary. Our internships that our students do are really valuable for them to get out into real world. Our health science students having those opportunities the cosmetology students get that opportunity. The film students, the engineering students. You, know, you can't build a great community on low paying jobs. And a lot of these kids, they're already making, as interns, $23, $24 an hour. Anderson Institute of Technology probably serves the highest poverty in Anderson County. What this does is give our students opportunities to support themselves and other members of their family. By walking into higher wage paying jobs, we're hopefully putting a dent in generational poverty. Right now, we're setting up for our capstone projects. The capstone projects are where the kids come up with a capstone after their course of study here. It's almost like an exit project in a way. They do a big production. Parents come. We're on a party bus and we're going to the film festival. The film festival. We make it an Oscars night, basically. They'll be thriving in limousines so that they get that sense and feel about what the industry is so that they get a sense, this is really what I want to do. I really see this as a big career for me, but I really just wanted to make this filming career something to show my mom that it was worth it of everything she did for me. Are you considering uh, looking at getting a provisional patent? We need to talk about that possibility. Parents have told me about their child being here, how they didn't want to go to school, they weren't happy, but once they found their niche at AIT, this was the thing that, that hooked them in. Here I am selling Afro ramen, which is a mix of soul food and Japanese traditional ramen. It was all about giving kids a purpose of life. That education isn't just about progressing to the next grade. No, it's about preparing for your life and your future. What our modern high school students are seeing, high school is just a very blended format. The beauty of AIT is that it's a big piece of that puzzle. It gives them more options. I really think that what we're doing here has the opportunity to be a game changer for the workforce development in Anderson County. I've seen some of the projects that they've done, They're very impressive, very creative. Every time I see them, I'm like, okay, maybe the future of America is good. <laughs>